Okay, what's going on team? We're gonna start over here. This is approximately the fifth time I try to record this, so hopefully it works this time. If it doesn't, well, I'm just going to tell you guys what's going on on Discord tomorrow morning. Okay, first things first, QQQ. So let's look at the whole tech sector as a whole, okay? First things first, we notice that this trend change over here, okay, low, high, higher low, and bull break. This change in momentum from the bulls created this very nice move up, okay? And this is where we had most of our nice plays in the month of September, right? So we're mainly, we're mainly looking for something very similar to this. We want to see a trend change form over here on the 4-hour and be able to break this general area of resistance over here where we have two resistances. If that happens, then the psychology of a potential cup and handle is actually there. Okay, this little cup over here, and then a handle, and then break the resistance box. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. And once again, on all of the moves I'm about to show you guys, so on all the moves I'm about to show you, I'm just putting initial small positions because it's obviously possible that even if we see these hourly trend changes it's entirely possible that the bears take over after these little bounces so we're still hedging ourselves in case this happens okay so let's start off qqq hourly trend change on watch for monday can the bulls break above this resistance here so low high higher low and bull break if we get this break above this resistance over here at 285.02 then the hourly trend is finally bullish for the first time since October 12th. And if that happens, we'll be looking at a potential move towards the resistance again. Okay. So let's start off with MMED, which I have on watch. Whoever played this with me from this little triangle, congratulations. We made a nice 20% move here. And now I'm looking at this bull flag forming over here. And if you guys pay attention to this, it's actually a bull flag on the same resistance, or sorry, support as every single other time it fell onto this support here. So this blue line, this EMA, is being used as a, as a support once, twice, three times, four times, five, six, and now seven. So this is the seventh time we come down to this blue EMA and touch it. So what I'm looking for to confirm this move is an hourly trend change. So low, high, higher low, bull break. If this happens, well, I already have a small position. I will be adding a little bit of position if we get a bull break because my heavier position is already entered in case we get the bull break. And if it happens, this will confirm uh, the bull flag, okay? CWH, looking at this long-term uh, descending triangle happening over here. Now, if we get a four-hour trend change, so the main theme for today's video will be four-hour trend changes. That's what's going to confirm to us that the bulls actually are getting some momentum. This is what a four-hour trend change would look like. Okay, so I'm going to draw this out for you guys just to replay it. So we're looking for a low, a high, a higher low, and then a change in direction by breaking this resistance here. If we see this happen on CWH, then the low is likely set and we can likely retest the top resistance, okay? And if all goes well, these are just initial positions for larger moves, okay? And we're just preparing ourselves in advance on these potentially longer term positions if everything goes back in our favor and if bulls can take over control. Okay, D-Dog. D-Dog has a nice triangle over here. We played it on this trend change over here. And guess what? Broke out, came down, and now we're looking for a trend change once again on the 4-hour, exactly like this over here. So low, high, higher low, and break of this level here. If that happens on D-Dog, I'm interested in some positions for the next run up towards these levels. And if we can see... D dog actually forming a new <laughs> a new triangle over here then we'll be looking at a, another play up when that happens <laughs> okay so next we have AMD AMD is actually forming another very nice triangle over here so let me just delete this 
we played AMD on this uh, pattern change over here. So this trend change, low, high, higher, low, and break, right? We played this all the way towards these levels. And now we're looking at the potential of another trend change happening over here. If we see a low, high, I want, to, I want it to come up to here, create a high, a higher low, and a break. If that happens, then we'll be looking for the next move up. And wherever it tops out, we're still looking at this longer term triangle over here to play out. So if the bulls can really take over, uh, take back control in the next few weeks, then we're looking at uh, the potential of this move being a lot greater than just this little four hour trend changes we're talking about this is in the case of a lot of the stocks we're, we're talking about these are going to be weak to two week holds if the bulls are able to hold their control okay so next thing we're looking at is dkng this was forming a nice triangle here we actually played it on the move up from this triangle i'm just going to draw it quickly over here and now it came all the way down here and i'm still waiting for a four hour trend change so once again guys low high higher low break if this happens at the same time as look at this blue line over here this is the the 50 or sorry the 150 ma touch 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 and now we're touching it again so potentially going to be a bounce over here plus the fact that the rsi is oversold on the four hour for the first time since july okay so if this bounces with some solid volume i'm looking at a potential move towards these levels here which would give a nice uh, potential you know 20 percent 20 to 30 percent profit so uh dkng on watch netflix also looking for a four hour trend change like this over here will it happen over here Will it happen over here? We don't know. I just want it to happen anywhere between where we are now and the bottom of this move. The lower we go before changing the trend, the more interested I am in Netflix. So if we can change the trend all the way near these supports over here, so around this area, it's even more attractive to me. So I will be putting more money on it. Next, plug, P-L-U-G, from a nice triangle over here. Bull break came down. Now we're looking for a little four hour trend change just like this green bar over here right so low high higher low break if that happens i will be looking at targets around 17 and 18 dollars for the potential of a new triangle to form like such over here okay next planet 13 I'm looking for the same thing. I'm looking at this longer term potential pattern. There's nothing, absolutely nothing confirmed yet, but I wanted to see, I want to see uh, Planet 13 being able to form a little triangle here. If it does this, it breaks down. I want it to form another one over here and then break up towards these levels to break higher. So I'm looking at more of a long term play on um, Planet 13 once we get a potential bear break. Now, if none of this happens and we just see a move straight up towards here, I am not interested in it because we're not establishing any support on the way up and we could come down as fast as we came up. So that's why I want to see it tighten up within this range first and then I'll be a lot more attracted to it. Okay. Next, DPHC. DPHC, a lot of you guys were looking at this move on, when was this? October 21st. Yeah, 20 and 21st, so we were looking at this nice move up, that was 20%, but I kept saying on Discord, guys, be careful, we never saw a trend change, so we, yes, we saw a move up, right, we saw a move up here, but to change the trend, we would have had to make a higher low compared to this low, and then break this resistance here, that would have been a trend change, and that would have indicated that bulls are taking over, but it never happened, bears took over, and now we're still waiting for this exact same thing to happen, wherever it happens, maybe it'll happen here. Who knows but we need this hour this four hour trend to change to the bulls okay same thing with clsk i want at a minimum the one hour trend to change to the bulls which will maybe happen on monday oh, whoops this is clsk so i want this green line over here i want this to happen for a very initial position on a signal for uh, the move towards these levels here, okay? The only thing confirming that this move would be real would be volume pouring in plus a four hour trend change, 
which would not look like this it would actually look like this so low high higher low break okay that's what it would look like on the four hour so on watch next Microsoft forming a flag over here potential buy on this dip but be careful there's earnings on the potential dip so in that case earnings are extremely extremely uncertain so new traders I do not suggest taking this I suggest waiting on the sidelines and observing it okay next one we have HYLN I'm still waiting for a trend change we never got the trend change so far we've just been seeing high uh, lower lows and lower highs this entire move down and we're still waiting for whenever this trend will create a low a high a higher low and a trend change okay so HYLN still on watch Baba BABA -B -A, that's Alibaba on watch for this little triangle forming here if you can come towards this resistance here correct that would be a nice entry for a potential move up higher okay fastly also looking for this four hour trend change over here anywhere from where we are now to the bottom okay so if we change the four hour trend I'll be interested in it and you know that will be the first indication that the bulls are starting to take over on this entire move so on watch BLNK kind of similar to AMD I want to see you guys see this this four hour trend change over here which indicated the bulls were taking back momentum well guess what I want to see the exact same thing happening around these levels here for our initial positions on this move up and if we get a move towards here correction and then move up well our second entry will be on the correction over here like this okay so signal number one is just for initial entries this is just for the potential that the bull will really try to take this move to the next level okay so be on key on watch FNKO congrats bulls whoever took this with me on Friday we're up I think seven or eight percent profit on it so congratulations but if you didn't no problem it's very choppy and I said to you guys that it was pretty risky just because of the choppiness so it was forming this triangle here with these two uh, lines of resistance and support right and we broke above this resistance however look at all these wicks that it formed every time it crossed it so we're not certain that it'll stay above there yet so just on watch we need some volume to start pouring in for real like this level of volume over here we want to see it pretty high or else this move can still be a fake out and it can go right down last one we're going to look at for now is d so this is dominion energy and dominion energy is forming a nice little triangle over here within a longer term triangle ever since coronavirus crash and we're at this resistance over here so if we break above this resistance we're breaking a little triangle a huge resistance and a, and a big triangle so that's three patterns that we're breaking all at once with one move so uh, d on watch okay last few stocks I want to go over is I know this is a little fast you guys but I'm sure you guys are able to keep up and you can ask me any questions you want on discord so uh, renewable energy sector what are we looking at CBAT CBAT okay if we're able to change the four hour trend so low high higher low break then the best entry possible would be on this dip over here okay and if it's able to break above this resistance oops, over here then that is the confirmation that the momentum is going back towards the bulls okay likely going to go back towards the bulls so I'm already starting to enter some positions I already have a small position on this from Friday but I will be looking at entering more if I see the right setup next I'm looking for an hourly trend change on uh, Sun W okay which would, would look like this so low high higher low and break of this resistance over here if that happens that's the first hourly trend change that we've seen since basically since this top over here so we haven't seen the hourly trend been up uh, been high uh, since this top so that would be indication number one of a move towards these levels over here okay so Sun W on watch BLDP 
also on watch because we had a nice four hour triangle bow break over here and now it came down and we're looking for a little trend change that you guys see in yellow for a potential next move up okay next we're looking at aura aura had another triangle bow break over here and now it's forming this is a, a little drawing i drew to show you guys what i want to see with the volume so i want to see the volume increasing like this after it's decreasing from this move here and this is exactly what i want to see to form this potential flag over here oh. Two seconds, guys. So this flag over here, if we're able to see a nice trend change like this, that is the buy signal for me for another leg up. And then we'll be looking at targets of $87, which would give a solid 20% move on Aura. Next, run. Also looking for a four-hour trend change. So far we got a move up we got a move down we got to change these moves and look at the four hour rsi we're oversold for the first time since march so that is notable let's keep that in on our watch for this week okay huge move up move down looking for the bulls to prove something to me first before entering run or else there's nothing telling me that it can't go lower okay so trend change on watch for a buy until then nothing and the last stock we're going to look at is be be is basically forming a nice little trend change potential out of let me see over here you guys probably know what i'm going to draw right now but you guys see this triangle forming broke out of it all right broke out moved down bears have control right now and we're looking for the bulls to take back control but because of the because of how much the bears took away from the bulls, psychologically speaking, the bulls will not be able to pass this high over here on the first attempt, which means that we're looking at lower targets around these levels. Okay, so let me, let me move this around here. That would be our target. And if this continues to form like this, then it could form a new triangle for either a move up or a move down. So I know this is a little bit messy right now, but I'm sure you guys get the point. Point is, we're just currently looking at this move up over here. Only if we see a nice hourly trend change. So let's look for that on Monday. This one is probably going to happen sooner than later. So if we can see like this, this is a trend change on the hourly chart. Okay. That's all I have for you guys for today. And I just wanted to say congratulations to anyone that took the KOS call. This was a risky one, but you're currently up about 17% profit. Think of exiting over here. There's some resistance. And if there's a pullback with some healthy correction and declining bear volume, you can look for a re-entry around this level for the next move up, which is about 50%. That's what I'm looking for an entry on. So... Congratulations, Bulls. We had a nice uh, a nice week last week. Not much happening, but patience is key in the stock market. The markets work in cycles, so be patient. Wait for these trend changes, and good luck, team.